Hello everybody, my name is Sabuno Isaac Barry from Barry Science Lab, and today I just filmed this cool new game. It's called Algebra 2. And I didn't just buy the regular edition, I bought the remaster, I mean Regents edition. The Regents edition. Doesn't that seem nice? And look at this cool background. Press X to play. Alright, let's see. Level selection. Hmm, level 1. Looks fun. But what about level two? Ah, that looks fun as well. Oh wait, it's locked. Well, that's bad. So, I guess our only choice is to move back to level one. Wow, that looks pretty nice. I'm hoping we can get three stars on. Let's see what it's called. Polynomial arithmetic. Well, if you're on algebra two, you've likely already studied algebra of one or rather played the game Algebra 1. So, there was a level there that specified what polynomials were. So, let's enter level 1. Oh. All right. So, polynomial arithmetic. Obviously, if you played the game Basic Math, which has been all made by the same company, then you should probably already know the four arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And all of these are powerful weapons. They changed, they actually changed the uh, symbol from this to this to avoid confusion with the newly introduced mechanic of variables. Alright, so what of addition? Well, addition is really easy, just like with regular arithmetic. If you've played the basic math game, you probably know how addition works. You take uh, two groups and you combine them to make one bigger group. So you combine these two and boom, now you have seven. Alright, but what about addition polynomial addition? Well, that thing is and we can do that by doing this so most polynomials are written like this however some however and this is not always what they look like so 5x squared plus 7x minus 9 for example what if i had what a uh, x squared or 1x squared plus 3x minus 5 and um the game just doesn't render the 1 in front of the x squared doesn't re usually render lone zeros either um it's been uh the mechanic of the game uh, it's been a glitch or a mechanic of the game that's been under criticism by uh, for a long time but the, uh, the game developer keeps saying it's a few feature so i don't know Anyway, let's add these two. We can add these two very simply by combining the like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variable. So it's kind of like matching cards. For example, do you see these two? 5x squared and x squared, they match. So let's underline all of our like terms. 7x and 3x, or x and x, they match as well. And 9 and 5 are just coefficient with no x, so they will naturally just add up. Alright, so now we can add the reds. Adding them gives us 6x squared. We can add the blues. Well, actually, logically, we would start from the back. Minus 9 minus 5 is negative 14. 7x and 3x is 10x. Turn the 5x and x squared, that makes for 6x squared. Wow, nice. You've reached the checkpoint. So, apparently, I just checked on the game, and this is how it looks. So, we reached the addition checkpoint, but we have yet to get to the other three, apparently. So, we are only 25% done. 
and blue. And something's telling me that the last part over here is probably going to be a boss fight. Alright, next we have subtraction. And uh, as a subtract, uh, we know already subtraction. So, uh, we take 10 for example. And this minus 7 means we have to take away 7. And the resultant is 3. And also, the, the same thing happens for polynomials. Let's say we have 10x squared plus 7x minus 3. Minus three. Looks like the game glitched. We'll have to restart it up. Make sure that exponent doesn't show up. Now, we have minus 4x squared. Well, what would be more logical would be to write it in standard form, where you would see it most of the time. 10x squared plus 7x minus 3 minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now, what this minus does is essentially it's a negative 1. So, that means that we have to use the distributive property. And we have to multiply every single component or term in here by negative 1. So, that gives us 10x squared plus 7x minus 3, which would probably decrease thickness. And then, minus 4x minus 2x and positive 1. And finally, now we can find our like cards. We match like cards, we find the underlying variable, and finally, these are our like terms that match up. Adding the reds first, 10x squared minus 4x squared, gives us 6x squared. And also, remember, uh, why is this plus 1? Because negative times negative is always positive. 6x squared. And then we have 7x and negative 2x. That's just going to be a positive 5x. 7x minus 2x is 5x. And then negative 3 and positive 1, that's just going to make for 2. Or negative 2 rather. We have 1 minus 3, which would be negative 2. So 6x squared plus 5x minus 2. You have defeated yet another one of the boss's henchmen. Look at these things. So, now we have completed our second thing. And now, we're 50% of the way through the level, and we've reached... We reached the next checkpoint. Woohoo! All right. Now, what about the third checkpoint? So, this was our beginning. What is the third checkpoint? Well, we're not very sure yet, but it looks to be multiplication. So. We already know how multiplication works. I don't need to explain it to you. But it is one of the harder henchmen in this in this game. So, how do we do this? Let's say we had 5x squared minus 7. Oh god, that's one of them. Then it showed up with another one. 4x squared plus 5. These two are opposite and are both very dangerous together. They can only be vanquished when they are combined. Alright. 5x squared. So what you have to do in order to multiply polynomials is you first multiply one of... Okay. So we need to go back to the training part of this section first. So, if we have 5 times 4x squared plus 5. So, doing this, we must distribute the 5 to both of the terms. Remember what 
in the previous game, we had 5 times 4 plus 5. Yes, that could be interpreted as 5 times 9, but you could also interpret it as 5 times 4 plus 5 times 5, which would give you the same answer. The exact same trick is applicable here. And 5 times 5 is 25. There is also another method to beat these enemies. You can use the box method. It's much simpler to do when you know, one of the enemies is very small. Like this 5 over here. And it's very easy to do overall. It's a great battle. And it's much better than the much harder and much more time consuming foil spell. 20x squared, so 5 times 4 is 20x squared, and then 5 times 5 is 25, so we get 20x squared plus 25. Isn't that simple? Alright, now let's get to the challenges. Oh my. 
five good ones. Look at it. It's extremely, extremely threatening. Look at how red that is. My goodness. All right. So, here comes the boss. It was in secret all this time. It just didn't want us to see it. Oh my goodness. That is a menacing face indeed. Let us practice before we meet this, the face of this boss. So, first of all, let's say we have this plain tour. And then another polynomial right over here. Now, how we divide this by this? Well, what we do first is we think, uh, how many 2x's do I need to get 4x squared? In other words, 4x squared divided by 2x is what? Well, we can do some easy division. 4 times 4 over 2 times x squared over x. And remember, the unrendered one is over there. So, using the rules of exponent, once again, we can deduce we have 2 minus 1. So, that gives us 4 over 2 is 2, and the x to, to the second minus fourth power is x to the first power, or just 2x. Alright, so we need to multiply 2x by 2x in order to get 4x squared. So, minus 4x squared, and we'll write 2x next to there, like a symbol of partial division. 6x now, and 6x divided by 2x is just 3. So, we can put 3 over here, we have a remainder of 0, and the quotient of 2x plus 3. Just to verify, let's check our answer. 2x times 2x, or squared. squared. 2x times 3, 6x. Boom. Alright, I think we're ready for the boss battle. So let's, this absolutely gigantic battle begin. Let's see what the boss puts in front of us. Oh god, it has awakened. Look at this menacing smile. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, my heart rate is racing. So, now, let's see what he puts in front of us. Oh my god. Oh, this can't be happening, this can't be happening. Can't be happening, but, but, but it is. Oh God, that was just a fake. Meant to fool me, thinking that it was actually easy. Oh God. But we can beat them, no worries. First, let's take this term, 4x, and we take 8x cubed, the first term of this horrifying dividend. 8x cubed over 4x, that is equal to 8 over 4 times x cubed over x, which will be x uh, 3 minus 1. 8 over 4 is 2, and 3 minus 1 is 2, is what? 2x squared. So now, we are going to write 2x squared over here. And... And now, and now we are going to subtract 8, now we are not just going to subtract 8x cubed or anything. You see this 2x squared factor? We're going to multiply the entire thing by that. We have to. So, now, we have 4x times 2x squared, which is 8x cubed. And 
six times two x squared, which is um twelve and twelve. And since we're subtracting this, that means that this will be a minus. And now, we can finally start depleting the boss's health. So, first of all, we have a cancel. Oh, goodness. The boss's health. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. It's decreasing. Oh, great, great, great. All right. So now, we're going to get 12 squared. We're going to cancel it. Oh my god, I can see it depleting even more. He's on half health. Oh god, oh god, he's not smiling anymore. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's really bad. But we can get through this. I know. 9x plus 3. And 2. Now, how many 4x's can go into 9x? So, not minus 9x over 4x. Well, only 2 can go in there. 4x and then 8x. So, we're going to multiply this entire thing by 2. And then, oh, wait, wait, wait. Minus 9x divided by 4x. So, it can go in there negative two times. So we're going to multiply this thing by negative two and, uh, and then subtract. So minus, so minus negative eight X plus or rather minus 12. However, the negative will distribute to both of those making it positive. All right, and that gives up. And that gives us fun. X plus 15. We can factor no more. And that thing was negative 2. So, oh my goodness. His health, it's gone. He has been erased. We've done it. Now it's just time to find our quotient and collect our reward. 2x squared minus 2. And what is our remainder? x plus 15. So we can add x plus 15 over 4x plus 6. Or we could also wear it as a trophy like this. Remainder x plus 15. Oh my goodness. We beat the first level. I think it's safe to say that we got a three star on this one. Oh my goodness. And with that, our first level is complete. Oh, and a little replay button has appeared for whatever we want to review. even on your screen too. After this video is done, maybe if you don't understand, you want to review, you should press this same button as well. Now, that is the first level of Algebra 2, Reason Sedition. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.